Good evening, everyone. I'm Lauren Ankara, and this is the Fox 5 News at 6. There are major developments tonight about the San Onofre nuclear power plant. Just a bit earlier this evening, a federal agency said the plant cannot restart two of its reactors until further notice. Fox 5's Jamie Chambers is live in San Onofre with what this means to those getting power from that plant. Hi, right, Jamie. Hey, Lauren, yeah, this letter from federal regulators is extremely rare, if not completely unprecedented, for the San Onofre power plant. We spoke to locals out here, and they're deeply concerned with this latest development. They have to speak up and, and, and give the reasons why the problem's not getting fixed and uh, let the public know about this. The San Onofre nuclear power plant has been shut down completely since January 9th when officials found tubes leaking inside reactor 3 from, quote, unusual wear. But today, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission ordered the nuke plant to remain closed until regulators give the go-ahead. In a formal letter, the NRC questioned whether plant officials understood how to handle the problem. Regulators wrote, quote, until we are satisfied that has been done, the plant will not be permitted to start. Locals in the area are stunned. There's alarms in San Juan Capistrano that kind of go off every now and then. I, I work down there, so not hearing any alarms, you're thinking that, that it's okay. But if the Fed's coming in and shutting it down, that's, that's alarming in itself. What is the loss anyway? If, if we haven't been using it for months, what are we losing? And we've been calling to speak with spokespeople here at Southern California Edison and the uh, San Onofre Nuclear Power Plant. They haven't returned our calls, but we just got uh, a statement released. They are reporting that we welcome the NRC's letter, which is a formal step in the process of restarting units two and three. That's uh, according to Ron Litziger, the uh, Southern California president. Uh, he's the president of Southern California Edison, and he says their priority is always with the health and safety of their plant workers. Certainly, this is a, 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 an interesting development. We've really never seen the feds take such a, a drastic step. They're apparently not liking what they see in the process, and we'll all just have to wait and see when the plant will be back and up and running. Lauren, we'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Jamie Chambers for us tonight at San Onofre. Thanks, Jamie. And internationally,